it's a real uh, hot button issue in this country right now, a culture war issue. The critics are saying that gender affirming care is nothing more than uh, woke doctors and woke parents and activists mm -hmm. uh, manipulating confused children into mutilations and life altering uh, experimental drug therapies. Now, you both have children. What's your experience been with this? Well, it's interesting that, you know, folks might say that these are woke parents because my husband and I weren't really woke about this. <laughs> we had a child who was telling us that they, that, you know, she's been a girl her whole life and we were not really listening. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure how woke we were. Right. I kind of wish we were more woke. I wish we had been able to hear her sooner. Um, it took us a few years to really listen and appreciate that she was telling us who she was. Um, and when we did, she, it was, she was like a new child. She just literally lit up, woke up. She woke up when we supported her. We said, we recognize that this is who you are and we're gonna support you in our house and we're gonna support you in your life. Wow. And when that happened, she's like, this is amazing. She really didn't have words for it as a 10 year old. She had been telling us since she was three. And since that time, what we deal with now is a child who is now almost going to college, right. she's in high school. And I told someone the other day, I said, you know, her being trans is the least interesting thing about her. Right. Is this your experience as well? Was it, was it something that shocked you? Was it something that was difficult for you to accept? Uh, yes, it was completely out of my realm of understanding. I was very conservative, evangelical, you know, Southern Baptist, GOP. But at the age of four, Avery said, Mom, you think that I'm a boy, but I'm a girl. I'm a girl on the inside, and very directly told us. Um, we had no idea what that meant. Uh, again, this, it was out of our thinking. We thought maybe we have a gay boy who's confused. We thought the same thing. We went to ask questions. We talked to doctors. We, we went to endocrinologists just mm -hmm. to check the XXXYs, all the things. Um, and we had to come to understand that our child knew who they were. And mind you, they're 15 now. This was more than a decade ago. Right. It, they weren't influenced by TikTok. They no. weren't on Facebook um, at four. So you're saying this is YouTube? Yeah, clearly, yeah. clearly. <laughs> maybe That's maybe a MySpace yeah. page sure. that they stumbled across. You're saying that yeah. Friendster. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Now, okay, so you live in a conservative community. now. Generally, that is where the energy for the push against gender affirming care is coming from. The people in your life, knowing what you went through, knowing what your child went through, did that dent their belief system in any way? I wish I could say it did. Um, we were the most conservative out of all the families in our uh, friend group with kids at preschool and everything. But when we said, this is who our child is, um, we lost our, all of our friends. We really had to rebuild from the ground up because we lost our entire support system.